Today it's Monday, February 19, 2024. For some people that are wondering why the Porsche is still there, we are waiting the clutches for the LSD. I didn't make a video for this car. It's just long story long. <laughs> it's not the right video to put it on, but in any case, uh, it needs the LSD clutches. Long story short. Okay, uh, finish the story. I make already follow up video for the. C63204 over there for the long tube headers. Let's go to the point here. Two JZ. Two JZ. Now, I, I get one decision. I end up somewhere. I'm, I end up that I'm not going to use this cylinder head. The one that the valve seats are much more acceptable than this one. That is all over the place. Because you have to calculate the positives and the negatives. You have to consider also that. This one, this cylinder head, you're going to use it, let us say, if you put the rev limiter at 8,000 RPMs and you reduce a little bit the boost, then yes, you can use this without any problem. And that's my opinion, by the way. All right. But not, not in this application. All right. This cylinder head, what has better than this, that, that, this cylinder head, it's that it's already been resurfaced and the valve seats are in much better condition from the machining point than this one. All right, and that's it, and it's finished there. This one has upgrade valve guides, seven millimeters, also the valve stem from the valve, it's seven millimeters. The valve is one millimeter greater than the other one, all right, has a double spring, has a good retainer, also this one is okay, but it depends the application. So, to don't have any headache, because on this one, I have to ask from the owner to bring me also valve springs because two of the valve springs, they're not okay. Again, for this application, they're not okay. So we don't have any headache and because we don't have time, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna remove the valves, keep it in order like any other time, check the valve springs just for a peace of mind, like what I'm doing all the time, all right? Lap the valves, clean the valves and lap the valves to be beautiful and then sending it at the machine shop for one light resurface with a block. The block is outside. Let me show you. I'm, pre I'm, I'm preparing. I'm not preparing. I have already prepared it actually. I'm waiting to come from the machine shop, the driver, to pick up the block. And I would like to lap the valves first, clean the valves, and lap the valves because I want to see also the state of the seats, of the guides, to see that it's okay and we don't have any other headache. I don't want to send for issue face and then find out, let us say, that one guide is gone or one seat is gone or whatever. It's much better to, for a peace of mind because, as an example, if you, if you have to change one valve guide, my instructions to the machine shop is first, let us say, you are porting the head as an example or you are fixing whatever you have to fix. Then you are, uh, take care about the... Uh, the valve guide or the valve seat. And when you are done from all these things, at the end, you make one resurface on the cylinder head. Uh, I might be wrong, but that's what I'm following all the time for a peace of mind. And I'm not gonna change it now. So that's the plan. That's the plan, we'll do Jay-Z. A small update, I need to put back, I'm gonna wrap the cylinder head. I'm gonna give it back to my friend with the new valves. Mm. Plus, plus, if I use this cylinder head, I don't have the intake valves, the previous intake valves. I have the owner, the, my friend, he brought me a new intake valve, and I have it here, all right? This will have some small difference with the previous intake valves. I'm talking about the buckets here, the followers, the cam follower. That this will need a different adjustment with this valve. So it's going to take much more time, you know, plus the valve spring, like I said. So if you put all down, you see that it does make any sense. We're going to spend some time. If, if I had time, yes, I'm going to do it. Uh, but no, no, not about me. It comes, it's coming the race and the race is supposed to be on March, not on April. That's what they told me yesterday on Sunday. Uh, I need to ask again. For the time that we have, we're gonna just put one bandage, you know, one injection on this engine <laughs> to last for a three, four pulls for the last race of the season. And then for the next season, we're gonna prepare a different engine probably. 
either we can oversize the pistons because the cylinder wall it doesn't look good at all if it does have a crack. Yeah, that's why I'm sending also the machine shop. I want from them to check to see if it has a crack the cylinder inside, just in case. So whatever it takes to put it back on the race, to finalize, to finish this season, and then for the next season we have plenty of time to prepare one nice engine, healthy engine for the next season, like I said. Yeah, that's the plan. Even keep in mind that if I get the camshafts from this engine, from this cylinder head, and I place it on this one, I need to adjust the clearance on the valves because it's not the same. This is, these are reprofile camshafts that's been grinded and they're not exactly the same, all the lobes. All right, the other one, it's aftermarket cam such that they are much more precise. That's why this cylinder head, I said also that the cam are better from, for this cylinder head. You, as soon as you make the clearance with the buckets, with a specific cam shaft, then all these things, they get married to each other. And that's why I'm not changing also the, the valve. The valve, let us say, the, the 6B valve for the exhaust, as an example, here. I'm not getting it from here, I'm placing it here. Because of the clearance, I'm going to increase because it's running here how long, and because I'm going to change also the clearance, tolerance. This is not necessarily, uh, it's not the, the same like the hydraulic lifters, by the way. All right. That's the status. And regarding the balancing, what I said before, I said that you have one very nice good ATI damper pulley, nothing wrong with that, all right? You have your set clutch with a flywheel, all right? You have a billet aluminum, aluminum connecting rods, and you have a stock crank. The thing is, you know, that obviously you're not going to be the balancing, there's not going to be any balancing. That's the thing. That's the thing. In any case, let me continue. Let me stop talking and stop the video here. And... Priority, removing the valves, cleaning everything, check that it's okay, that we don't have any problem with the valve seat or the valve guide, lapping the valves, keep it in order, sending the cylinder head at the machine shop for one light resurface, and when I finish from the cylinder head, I have to continue with the other parts. I need to prepare all the other parts, wrap it with nylon, so when they come back, block and cylinder head, to be ready. That's how it's going to be. Thank you, over and out.